Assalamualaikum and good day student uh, Welcome back to the distance learning We will focus more on the uh, screw Friction in screw Under subtopic of uh, 4.2 right now So what is a uh, screw actually I, I mean the application Most of the application of the screw are In most cases screw are used as a, a fastener So meaning that Like say this is a two plate over here This is plate number one This is plate number two the screw or bolt and nut are used uh, normally for securing uh, both uh, two parts together so in another application a uh, screw are used as a uh, to transmit power or to 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 transmit a motion like as this uh, figure over here this is a scissors a lifting jack to to lift the vehicle uh, to lift the vehicle and any other application as well okay this is the type of screw so there is a few type of screw over here so v trade this is a general uh, type of uh, a screw with, with a v trade this is the shape and then this is the square trade over here uh, used normally for power transmission we will focus more on the square trade over here uh, meanwhile this one is for uh, arc, this is the acme trade also for power transmission the buttress uh, trade are the combination of a uh, square trade and acme trade actually and then the uh, multi uh, start traded is actually uh, any type of screw with a, a multi start uh, this is the first start this is the uh, uh, second start we'll look further into this one later uh, we'll see on the uh, screw jack working principle uh, like say there is a load of W uh, acting on top of the screw over here uh, then uh, there is a handle there is a handle with a radius of R so what what you do is you need to apply the external force at the edge of the lever over here to either increase to either lowering down or increase the the screw so basically the principle is by applying a load and it will create a moment over here so it will either lift up or the screw will going down so this is the diameter of the uh, screw later we will consider it as a radius the mean radius of the screw itself okay there is a large of uh, force uh, applied along uh, the screw as this actually so when when there is a load over here so for sure there is a large of uh, force applied along the axis okay some uh, a little bit on the screw terminology this is the helix or helical structure which is a uh, wrap around the, the the screw and then what is a screw angle screw angle is the the angle between the horizontal and and the uh, screw actually so the screw trade mean radius is actually the uh, the radius from from the center of the uh, screw until the edge of the uh, trade itself pitch pitch is the edge the edge between uh, each each trip I mean the peak peak to peak uh, peak to peak distance is the pitch meanwhile for for lead 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 is actually if you are considering the two stats two stats of a trader let's say this is the first stat this is the second stat which means that uh, within one screw there is a two two helical structure wrapping around the uh, uh, screw so what we have here is actually pitch is being measured from peak to peak peak to peak of the uh, threaded meanwhile lead lead is the lead have a formula actually which is uh, lead or L is equal to number of start in this case there is a two start over here times the uh, pitch uh, distance okay all right 
to further understand on what is a uh, start is all about is the if you see over here the single start compared with the double start compared with triple start so you see the angle over here so comparing both comparing the three you see that the difference between the angle over here and then uh, for single start there is only one uh, helical structure uh, meanwhile for double start there is two helical structure over here and then for triple starts actually there is one two and the other one is on the uh, opposite side you can see the dimension is different between lead and pitch over here uh, now we want to talk about the angle of screw how to get the angle of screw based on the based on the uh, dimension given okay let's say this is uh, this is point a and then this is point b at any time when i turn uh, one round of the screw uh, the screw will lift will be lift up at a distance of this one at the distance of l let's say this is l let's say with a distance of l so this is the uh, line where the thread is being uh, used to increase the distance at L uh, upward. So when when I draw the uh, trigonometry, we can see that this is uh, two pi r. This is L, the distance that we uh, we turn one round. So the the screw will be uh, going up at L distance. So this is actually a theta. So angle of screw is actually you can uh, be derived from from this equation. Okay, uh, let's see the friction analysis of the screw. To simplify, uh, I just uh, take out this uh, uh, block and uh, put it into larger uh, picture. So uh, considering there is a weight acting on the screw uh, vertically, so there is a weight over here and then this is a uh, angle of a uh, screw and then by the time we apply moment at the screw that is uh, for sure uh, that will create uh, actually there is a uh, uh, external force of s that creating the force uh, m over here um okay uh, let's say w is the total axial load applied to the screw and then uh, this is the external force of uh, S. Uh, S is caused by the applied moment M such that uh, by summing moment about the axis of the screw where M is equal to S times R. Uh, R is the uh, mean screw radius. Okay, if you look into this uh, picture here, uh, if, if there is a moment over here, and then uh, moment is actually create uh, have been created by the uh, external force where it been applied to the screw over here when you times s times r it will create the moment so this is basically the the sketch of the uh, block of the screw okay as a result of w and s when you see this uh, uh, force of w and s for sure that uh, they will create the resultant force acting to the block so let's say this is the resultant force acting to the block in this direction when you put a, a force to the right hand side so they will create the resultant force over here so we just take the uh, we just break the the component of r into the at the normal axis and uh, in line of the uh, this one the inclined plane so what we have is the we have a normal force and another force is we name it as r okay let's say this is the uh, vertical line uh, in line with w so we say that this is uh, alpha and then this is uh, phi so what we have next is the the upward screw motion in any upward screw motion we will find that this uh, figure will really help okay let's say this is uh, y axis this is uh, x axis so provided 
the m is great enough the moment is great enough at this direction so the screw will be brought to upward motion um, okay so in this if you are considering the total force at x axis we will have let's say i break i break this uh, resultant force into x and y axis so what i have here is the i will have this is r x and then this is r y okay this is uh, r x actually this is r x and then this is r y so i'll what I will have here is we arrange back the formula I will get this uh, new formula okay let's see how you derive the equation afterwards this is knowing that tangent phi is actually the uh, equal to coefficient of friction formula derivation at x as is you know that S is equal to R sine theta plus V. This is R sine theta plus V, which is Rx. At Y as is, you know that uh, this is R cos. This is Ry. So this is Ry. So when you rearrange back the equation, you will get uh, this equation. Put it put in uh, equation two into one. You will get this uh, equation, and then you simplify until you get equation number three. Uh, we just uh, times r times the mean radius at uh, to the left uh, to the left and to the right equation. So you will notice that s times r is actually the moment. So you already uh, get the same equation as uh, the one that we said before okay the equation summary will be something like this if you you are doing the up sc upward screw motion so you have to obey this uh, equation so in any cases of you you apply a force into this direction and then you will get the uh, theta and phi are within this uh, direction whenever you are doing downward screw motion uh, at this uh, theta is uh, larger compared to the phi compared to the degree of phi so it means that any external forces being applied to the right hand side is still not enough to bring the block upward so it's uh, the block is rather still want to move downward so meaning that the resultant force acting is uh, offset to the left okay and it's obey this uh, uh, it's obey this equation okay this is another one where we purposely want to download this screw motion where we have the uh, theta is uh, smaller compared to the uh, phi and it should uh, obey this uh, equation so if you see from this picture over here you are purposely uh, putting an external force of s double dot to the left hand side and then the resultant force will acting in this uh, direction it will create a new angle of theta and phi over here so the phi uh, the theta must be less compared to the uh, phi because phi is uh, the angle measuring from normal axis to the uh, resultant force acting while theta is measuring from the vertical to the uh, normal uh, axis theta is actually the uh, screw angle meanwhile for self locking screw what we have here is actually the uh, degree of theta and uh, phi is the same uh, theta and is the same so that's all thank you very much